hello uh, in this video I'm going to show you uh, I'm discussing uh, the Hamilton Jacobi and Billman equation and how to apply it to solve an optimal control problem okay a topics motivation from the mental or philosophy Hamilton Jacobi and Billman equation theory example point fact reference okay uh, here we talk about uh, uh, the, uh, the performance index or cost function the general form of it which is function of x of t and time and u of t this is the state vector this is the time and this is the control input so we have a terminal part and we have a trajectory part the terminal part is only function of uh, final state and final time but the trajectory part which is uh, actually it's a function of uh, time and control input and the state Okay, the fundamental theorem of, uh, of, optimi of optimization, any part of this optimal path is an optimal. For example, this one, if we talk about a minimization problem, the cost function of the top one is less than the cost function of the bottom, this one. So any slice of it, any slice, for example, from A to C, I mean the, the first one here, any slice of it is an optimal as itself, or any part of it, any part of it is very important theory okay motivation of this uh, Hamilton Jacobi Billman equation uh, we need to obtain the solution for state feedback problem this is a general form of state feedback problem in linear control system uh, we have u equal minus k x which is linear combination of these two uh, we know from uh, classical control techniques and modern control uh, for linear system <coughs> we know how to get k because u equal minus kx uh, through a very famous uh, technique called pole placement technique and uh, <coughs> uh, the classical control technique and modern control technique there's two techniques for finding this k which is pole placement technique and uh, Lyapunov technique for uh, optimality okay so uh, both these two techniques uh, just finding this gain matrix k which is times x which is linear combination of these two but now we, we, we need to use uh, Hamilton Jacobi Billman equation to find a nonlinear combination from x to k for example x squared times so and uh, something like that you it will be a, a nonlinear combination of these two not linear not limited to linear system okay just a quick uh, review for the comparison between these two this is the classical control technique uh, we just have only one variable for feedback and we use uh, and we're trying to find this uh, again through traditional technique which is uh, root locus or frequency domain techniques like uh, Nyquist and Nicholas chart and uh, <coughs> body blot and just we need only one variable for feedback and we are all interested only one for one variable but for modern control we use state space form here so we need we we need all the states for the feedback okay in modern control uh, the system should be in state space form the system should be observable and controllable and uh, in case it's observable and controllable uh, we need all the states for the feedback so it may be not possible to to make all the states available for feedback so we need to design in some cases we need to design an observer a statistic observer or linear observers to 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 observe all the states and it will be available for feedback okay so as i said uh, the hamilton jacobian billman equation we need to use this technique to find u as a nonlinear combination or linear combination between x of x i mean of x linear combination of x times some gains okay okay here we, we need to talk an optimal control problem we need to minimize this cost function or performance index subject to this condition and to satisfy this boundary condition and we need to find u which is admissible to minimize this cost function and at the same time if it if we apply u the control input to the system we got a trajectory for x of t which is admissible and we satisfy these cases okay okay 
first we, we, we assume that we have u star which is the optimal control which minimizes j the performance index I mean, which is minimized this one we find u that minimizes j and of course if we have u so we got x star if we have u star we get x star because when we apply u to the system we get we get x the whole x okay and the cost function will be cost will be function of initial state and initial time okay this j if we know it's a star and u star and you apply it to this so the performance index j will be function of t z t naught and and x naught and we name it as v it will be integration from t0 to tf for the same cost function okay now let me now to split uh, the, this integration from t0 to plus delta t and this one t0 to t0 plus delta t to this function and t0 plus delta t to tf to the same function okay we define this the first integration will be like this we call this a utility function and this part we call cost to go okay uh, as we talk about as we talk earlier about the fundamental theorem of optimality we said any slice of an optimal path is an optimal so this slice from t naught plus delta t to tf of this function will be like this from this definition from this definition i mean from this definition okay this t naught x naught t naught tf if we make t naught plus delta t and x of t naught plus delta t we got here t naught plus delta t for the same function so from uh, the definition of optimality any slice of an optimal path is an optimal okay this is the optimized cost function called by the way okay and this part is the second part of integration this one so we need to talk about this first part now okay this is the first part will equal delta t times l of t naught plus alpha delta t x star of this and u star of this I'll show you how to why we got the first part like this we are now talking about this part let me draw it in another program and see show you how to evaluate this and make this equal to this for example this the integration of this function is the the area under the curve for this function okay like this one if we have this the function of l and we got t0 to t0 plus delta t of this function from the from our knowledge of calculus if you need to know the the area under the curve you could um, you can um, approximate this area as a rectangle okay For example, if you take it like here, or you take it here to here. For example, if I take it, uh, for example, here. Okay. And we take the integration of this part. So we got delta t here times this altitude or this distance. Okay. So this distance will be L of T0 plus delta T and X of T0 plus delta T and U T0 plus delta T. And this will be delta T. Okay? Here what we have here. From the basic knowledge of the calculus. Okay? Of what it will be 0 to 1 because if we take alpha between 0 and 1, if it is 0, we take this altitude. If it is 1, we take this altitude. If between these two, so it may, you may get here. This. Okay? This altitude, I mean. Okay? Okay. Now we go back to the part, to this part, which is an incremental path because we have this increment. We can expand this using Taylor series expansion. Like now. Will be V of T naught X naught and partial V partial d partial t delta t 
plus partial d partial x transpose delta x which is equal to x dot delta t and higher order terms why transpose here because we have x as a vector state not only one state if it is only one state or scalar uh, plant we don't have this transpose so we cancel this these two terms and we make divide all parts all parts all parts by delta t and make the limits of uh, of delta t goes to zero we get this equation very simple calculus so we drop the subscript of zero here for convenience we are interested to obtain the solution for any initial condition we drop subscript zero then we can write this function which is Hamiltonian Jacobian Bellman equation could be written this way and lambda would be partial v partial x and partial v as we said it's an optimized cost function which is function of time and x okay okay as you can see here l and f is function of states and u lambda just function of x okay this this part called Hamiltonian Hamiltonian for optimum control which is this part this partial v partial partial t this equation called Hamilton Jacobian Bellman equation okay we'll see an example so if u it's not a few if this uh, omega goes to infinity so all u are is admissible there's no bounds for you so you can solve this Hamiltonian by partial h partial u and equal, equal to zero and find u okay as a function of this and we need to uh, show you this one if tf goes to infinity we got dv by dt goes to zero and this will simplify our equation here this goes to zero if tf goes to infinity and we get only Hamiltonian goes to zero and solve uh, this the, the differential equation okay if we have an example like now we have j the performance index was equal to half integration of zero to f x squared plus u squared dt this is the performance index or cost function subject to this plant which is scalar plant only one state will be it's a nonlinear plant nonlinear function the state and an input this is the initial condition right. okay the solution for h as we say earlier here h will equal this part l which is the integrand of the cost function plus this one dv by dx times the plant will equal to zero this one the integrand of the cost function this one times half plus lambda times the plant this one x dot which is x dot function of x and u and t this one and differentiate h with respect to u equate to zero and find u star this is the optimal control which minimizes this performance index will equal this way okay now we substitute all u in Hamiltonian back here and find what we got okay we got this equation lambda dv by dx as we defined earlier okay then substitute this Hamiltonian into our Hamiltonian Jacobian Bellman equation which is dv which is this one this one and equate to zero which is this one so we got here a nonlinear partial differential equation which is not very easy to solve so as an assumption if tf goes to infinity we 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 can simplify this equation into ordinary differential equation this goes to zero we got only dv by dx which is ode this one we got this equation which is ordinary differential equation okay just if you find the function of vx okay of the uh, the bottom line that if we know the function dx okay or dv by dx 
So we get lambda and we get u, u star, and this the end of the problem. Okay, just solve this problem, this differential equation, ODE. Okay. Uh, one technique is to, to 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 use a power series technique. You define fx as a power series, differentiate it, and substitute these two into our ODE or the differential equation. Substitute into this one and solve it. You get these terms, which is an approximate solution. I use a MATLAB to evaluate these. Okay. That's it. You know Vx, substitute back and find u, u star, I mean, optimal u. This leads us to optimal u minus x plus x cube. If you substitute this into our plant, which is this equation, minus x star, x cube plus u, u this one, u star. So x cube go to x cube, we left only minus x which is this one so the eigenvalue is minus one so it's a stem okay thank you for watching i hope this video will be helpful for you if you have any other question please leave it below in the comments thank you